Yo, what's up, man? We're back here in another video, and today we're gonna be going over the RE5 remake, aka Resident Evil 5. For the people that don't know, Resident Evil is having another remake. And most likely is going to be Resident Evil 5. So if you're new here, man, hit the sub button. And we're almost to a thousand. We're about halfway there. Almost halfway there. So every subscribe person would be very appreciated. But yeah, let's get straight into the content. Alright. For the people that don't know what Resident Evil 5 is. Resident Evil 5 is one of the most underrated games I have ever played that doesn't get talked about as much. I put this in the same category as like Fuck Sleeping Dogs, up. which is kind of like GTA, kind of. Very up. underrated, both of them are. The Resident Evil, bitch. I'm surprised this game wasn't like talked about as much like that. That game it has some of the most iconic characters in the Resident Evil franchise like in my opinion my favorite villain is Albert Wesker from this game like bro's like the best super villain I've ever seen but the game in general you start off in South Africa I believe you start off in like Africa and stuff technically there's a girl named Jill which is the same one from Resident Evil 3 but then she gets captured by like Wesker and shit. And now you gotta try like save her. But at first you thought she was dead. You're playing as um Chris Redfield and Shovel. I guess you can choose who you wanna play as, but it really doesn't matter like that. But one thing I liked about Resident Evil 5, I love the boss fights, bro. The, every boss was unique. Like I remember one boss, it was like a black chainsaw massacre dude. Like you ever watched the chainsaw ma the chainsaw massacre technically it was like an african version of him but at the beginning of the game they're gonna start you off with a dude i think his name is the executioner because he's like the dude that like cuts off people's heads when you're about to execute somebody it shows you at the beginning of the game how it actually happens but yeah all around just a very underrated game in general and then they had another DLC, like I said in like the Mafia video. This game also came out with like a DLC later that nobody has even played. I didn't even knew they had a DLC. It was just so hard to find and stuff. But the remake of Resident Evil 5 could compete with GTA 6. Is this game was that good? Like, if they add new bosses, make it way longer. And then add some finishing touches to this. This could be the best zombie game of that year. But most likely they're going to release the trailer like in 2024. And probably release the game early 2025. Right before GTA 6 releases. Most likely that's what every gaming company is going to do. It release like early 2025. I don't think nobody wants smoke with Rockstar. But what y'all Resident Evil fans think about Resident Evil 5 Remake. Because I know a couple people played it, but it's not really talked about as much. So let me know down in the comments what y'all think about the game and how what y'all think they can add to Resident Evil 5. But make sure you like the video, subscribe, I'm out. Alright, peace.